I am at Franklin Park Conservatory and I'd like to give you a tour of Ikebana International Chapter 84's Fall Exhibition. So you'll see three schools of Ikebana here and I'll give you a little bit of an introduction to some of those schools as we walk by. Look at these beautiful arrangements on pedestals, uh, just spectacular. We have a little section, appropriately, of miniatures. I want to give you an idea of the scale. Look at my hand and then look at the size of that arrangement. So these are all very tiny, very, very tiny. So the most traditional form of Ikebana is the Ikenobo school. And this is a very classic example of Ikenobo school. You can typically recognize it by a wide mouth container with a narrow base and all the stems are very tightly grouped together. So this is the most formal type of Ikebana. This is the school I'm in, Ohara. In fact, this is one of my arrangements. I had beautiful variegated uh, dahlias here, but the third day into the arrangement, they just didn't make it. And these started as hot pink and they've turned yellow in three days. So that's called a one row arrangement. This is mine as well. This is rising form with bird of paradise, anthurium, and split leaf philodendron leaves. This is the most modern school we have, the Sogetsu school. This is a giant floor arrangement. Uh, that bamboo is probably eight foot tall on the right there. Beautiful protea. Look at the size of those protea flowers compared to my fist. It's actually bigger than my fist. So Getsu sees Ikebana as a type of sculpture that includes flowers. So they'll use foreign materials. In this case, you can see dried materials in multiple containers. This is mine, again, Ohara School. This is Hana Kanade, our newest style of arrangement. It should cross in three places, up high and then down low. Two places. Ha, see, I'm rushing. I need to get this film before they tear down the exhibit in about 15 minutes. Here's a freestyle. This is mine as well from the Ohara School. This is the radial form. It's got that strong, graceful lines coming out the sides and then the flowers in the center. Another Ohara arrangement. And another big installation piece, a construction piece. Again, probably seven, eight foot tall from the Sogetsu School. And as we round the corner here, of course by now, you guys can recognize Sogetsu, right? Use of foreign materials. In this case, it's pool noodles and then dried materials that she sprayed. Another Sogetsu, I really love this one. I love how the white flowers picks up the white tips in that pine. I think that's dragon pine. I'm not 100% sure there. Another Sogetsu, very sculptural in nature. Sogetsu is our most popular school in Columbus right now. Look at how interesting that container is. And then we have a big freestyle here. Almost looks like a forest of mums with Ming Fern behind it. And then we have another freestyle. And then look at this beautiful one with the hydrangeas. I think those are dyed. I don't think you can naturally find them those color with some Astelby, Bells of Ireland, and then this branch. I think this is a type of willow. We have a, another Ohara, this one in a tall container, a Heika. Another Sogetsu. Look at the branch material in there. And then such a beautiful, beautiful container here. Again, Sogetsu, a type of sculptural arrangement. Look how they bent the horsetail to form those uh, layered pyramids. Real pretty, real pretty freestyle. And then as we work our way down the line, another sculptural arrangement. And look how neat this is. Look at the lines that are in this container, horizontal and vertical. And look how she picked those up with Mitsumata. That's a branch that's frequently used. In this case, they were painted black. And I think that that mesh might be 
drywall tape. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. And then a little landscape that I did for the O'Hara School with crocosmia and wax flower. Well, even that red. Another beautiful freestyle with protea. Beautiful orange protea. Protea was popular in this uh, exhibit this year. There's some more protea. Now as we round the corner, we come to another Ikenobo. Remember the classic school? And I showed you how tight the stems were at the vase. Remember, I said a wide mouth container, narrow at the base. And now look at these stems. They're actually in a perfectly straight line from front to back. Another classic uh, style here for Ikenobo. This is just darling. I think I think this is winterberry. I always forget the name of this, but I need to grow some because I just love those deep purple berries. And then here we have another beautiful fall container grasses, beautiful fall mums. And then I think we have another big installation as we round the corner here. Another big sogetsu. This, I think, look, is PVC pipe, bamboo, mums, split leaf philodendron, and um, on a big floor stand, I think this is probably six foot, seven foot tall. So another very big, beautiful arrangement. So this is overall the exhibition that we have here at Franklin Park Conservatory. And it takes a lot of materials. You can see sort of behind the scenes. If I sneak behind the screens, all the flower material, people keep coming in and refreshing. Again, as I mentioned, I had a beautiful dahlia in mine, and it just didn't last three days, so I had to switch to that bum. Real pretty orchid at the base of those calla lilies. Roses. So again, a beautiful exhibition here. We have a gift shop, of course, here at Franklin Park Conservatory. And they have the big greenhouses and several exhibit rooms. This is an exhibit they have going right now about wood turning. So they've got some beautiful bowls in here. I mean, just spectacular, spectacular work. This one looks like, you know, pottery almost, and yet it's wood. Look at that beautiful grain. Even some miniature work here. That piece is probably 10 inches high and 12 inches square. Look at this amazing one. And this is spectacular. So there's always plenty to see and do both floral and non-floral work here at Franklin Park Conservatory. I love this one. Ooh. Look at these little miniature birdhouses. Fantastic. So that's a little bit about our conservatory and a glimpse into our Ikebana International exhibit. I tried to film Saturday, yesterday morning, when everything was really fresh, but the internet was bad and my video is a little shaky. So today you get a better quality video, but we're at the end of a three-day show. Some of the flowers just didn't harden very well, um, but I think you can still get the idea of how beautiful it is and how different Ikebana is from Western style arrangements. So. That's Franklin Park Conservatory and Ikebana International Chapter 84's Fall Exhibition.